good shit. Right. Let's go with flanny. Something good. Light. It's fairly decent. Mm. It's not the best. There we go. I think this might be good to do. So what's up guys, I'm 63Z and I'm back. But this video is something different. Let's make sure I have a normal hairstyle here. Yeah, just the shark fit. Shark fit. Shark fit. But what's up guys, I'm back and this is the first video I've probably made for a while. It's probably been about three or so weeks. The last video I would have made would have actually been the tasting G Fuel video, which I did with Maddie and anyone who's been following the situation will probably know I'll be doing another video later on uh, to talk more about this whole kind of thing but this kind of video is on something else you know and if you've ever been in any kind of situation if you've ever been anyone anytime if you're even if you've just been born out of the womb you've had this problem you've been waiting this problem's on waiting waiting what's there to talk about with waiting it's just waiting have you ever had that kind of moment where you're waiting for something so serious that you've been waiting to see something do something or just hear something that fucking god, that just, you don't have the energy. You know, you're waiting that hard, you're waiting that just <clears throat> full on into it. That you have no energy, almost. If you've had any of that, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You know exactly everything I'm about to say. Okay, so probably for the last, uh, probably about just over the last week and a half, I'm recording this on a Friday, Friday the 15th. So the past week and a half, basically, I've just been waiting purely. And you know that feeling when you're waiting and you just have no energy to do anything. You just don't want to do anything. You don't want to be anywhere. You don't want to see anything. You don't want to watch anything. Like, I usually watch my YouTube every single morning and it gives me so much pleasure to just watch it. And lately I've been getting into a guy called Dang Matt Smith and he does some really funny videos and they make me kind of feel better. But for like five days, it was just a matter of I didn't want to eat because I was waiting. I didn't want to sleep because I was waiting. I didn't want to watch stuff because I was waiting. And I literally found myself doing shit like... <sighs> yep. It, it got that bad. And anyone who's been in this... Anyone who has... Anyone who's actually waited properly knows. There's not there's a difference between like waiting oh I'm waiting for a text back. Oh I'm waiting to for him to walk around the corner. Oh I'm waiting for him to you know, stop talking to them in person. They can come up to me and talk to me. No. This is like physically just everything. Everything. I'm kind of waiting. Like you're waiting for something to arrive. And you're so excited about it. You're so excited to know everything and it just it takes so long. At the moment I'm waiting for a new set of G Fuel and if you had seen my other video, if you had seen my other video, I had done these, I had unboxed all these things. I had done another five more, and I got another one that I had already had before. Great. Good video, go check that out. Waiting. It's just, there's nothing to describe it with besides waiting. You can't do anything. If, you, if it's something that important to you, you can't physically help but be doing nothing. You know, waiting for a class. It felt like it took forever. If you're, if you're on those last couple minutes of recess at, and you're at school, right? Those last couple minutes fly by. Literally, you don't... Fucking washing machines on. Hold the fuck up. It's off. So I waited. I didn't even have to wait for them because I had ordered them and I knew that it would take a while. And I waited for them a week. I thought it would take three weeks, to be honest. I really did. I thought it would take three weeks and it came in one week. So I was like, oh yeah, fuck yeah. I didn't have to wait. And it was great. About a week and a half ago, maybe over two, maybe almost two weeks ago actually, there was a new flavor released for Gamma. And that flavor is Kiwi Strawberry. And they had a thing on where you also get a free shaker cup and a Gamma. I'm getting another shaker cup. I'm gonna be mixing up the colors because I don't. I like the cup, but I want like the green body with the pink top. I think it would look cool. Anyway, I've been waiting a week and a half for that. And after having like a week waiting for them, it was like, shit. This is taking a long time. It was just taking a long time. It feels like it's taking a long time because before it didn't take that long. And now it's taking forever. And I'm just waiting for so many answers and so many things to go on and waiting for the school answer. I'm waiting to talk to Maddie a lot. And it's a matter of all this waiting. It's something that no matter what it is, no matter what it is, if it's important to you, even if it takes five minutes to wait, even if it takes like 20 seconds to wait, it is still feels like too long. I'm, I can be a very, pa very patient person with um, so many things. When it comes to stuff like waiting and waiting for certain things that I'm not telling you right now, I, oh, oh, waiting is just the worst. Have you ever just wanted to know something so bad, so bad, that it just takes forever? You know exactly what I'm talking about. There's always something that you've waited for, for, that you've just wanted to know so bad and wanted to do or see so bad that it feels like it takes forever. Taking forever is the worst part about waiting. So that's what I'm going through. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. 
and it's probably going to end up waiting another half a week to a week for the G Fuel, and another half a week to a week for some other stuff in my course, and another week or more with Maddie. It's just all these things I'm waiting for, and there's nothing to really stop it. You know, you're just waiting, hoping that something comes in soon so that you have more information to go off. Because waiting and not knowing anything is worse than waiting than knowing something. Actually, no. Waiting and not knowing all of it, and you're waiting for the rest of it, is worse than waiting and not knowing anything. Because when you don't know anything, you can still be like, yep, I'm gonna get all that information, I'm gonna be perfectly fine. Waiting and only knowing half or part is the worst. Because you're like, oh, okay, they've given me this much, they've given me this, this much information, it's taking this long, it's taking that long, all that kind of stuff. They, they've given you half of what you need. What you need to know, what they've given you. Okay, nothing is down here, because that's literally nothing. There is, there is no nothing down here, it's just nothing. What they've given you, everything. And this little gap here, this little gap right here, you make it up yourself. And not knowing is the worst part about waiting. Because then it literally makes you want to do things like this again. <sighs> or this. Uh, and you just get like this. It's not the fact that waiting is bad, it's not knowing and waiting. And waiting is just the worst. Like really the worst. Because you don't know everything. And if you don't know everything, now, some people don't want to know everything because they find that it would... They don't want to know everything because they find that it will be it will ruin the surprise or they don't want to know this much because of the fact that yeah, they want to leave it to... They just, they just don't want to know everything. But some people really do. And I'm one of those people that loves to know everything that I can, right? I'm a patient person, but when it comes to waiting and only having half of it, oh, I go straight off. But then if I'm waiting and I know nothing and I know they know that I'm waiting, then oh, it goes even lower. Like, I'm fine waiting and not knowing anything, but I'm not fine waiting and knowing half. I hate waiting and knowing something, waiting and not knowing anything, because if they know I'm waiting and they still won't tell me anything, especially on where well, my where the gamma is, I'll be like, shit, but I have no clue what's going on. But if they tell me half of it, like saying, okay, it's been shipped now. Okay, I know it's been shipped and I know it's not gonna take that much longer. But the thing is, with waiting, everything is determined on events that you might not be able to predict and events that you may be able to predict. And now, it's, it's literally as easy as saying one, two, three, I'm done waiting. I've gone past that one stage of waiting. I'm at, I'm at the very end of the three point waiting. And the third point waiting is just literally where you go to the stage where you just, like one, once, the first stage of waiting is literally what you saw before, which is literally this. Second stage of waiting is second stage of waiting is literally you don't know what to do. First stage of waiting you can still do stuff, but not much. Second stage of waiting you're so engulfed by everything, you don't know what to do. You don't know where to be, you don't know what to see, you don't know what to talk about, and you don't know. You just literally don't know. Third, st third stage of waiting, that's when it's just everything just breaks loose. Like you can't control it anymore and you don't know how to deal with it. And for those that are waiting, for any of the reasons that you may be thinking, for any of the reasons that you have, that I don't know. You can comment them down below, perfectly fine. You can tweet at me on Twitter, that's perfectly fine. You can even follow my Snapchat for crying out loud. I'll, t I'll, I'll snap you all back. I really couldn't care. It's my personal Snapchat, but I've only ever had one Snapchat and I really don't mind. So, yeah. If you have something you're waiting for and you don't know how to deal with it, don't ask me for fucking advice. I, I, I'd like to know what you're waiting for. But go ahead. If you if you want to tell me what you're waiting for, go right ahead. I'm waiting for Gamma, I'm waiting for Info, and I'm waiting for more Info. So, yeah, I'll give you guys an update on what's happening soon with the channel, and I know I've been taking a break off for the past week and a half due to some personal reasons. <sighs> I'm waiting to get a couple more videos off of Maddie that I still need to edit, and then I have a couple more videos that I need to edit as well. One of them to do with Pokemon Silver. No, I did not play the game, it's a vlog. Um, I don't know what other games I can play for you guys. If you want to see any more games from me, you've all seen my collection. If you haven't, go back to the games where I rant about Rainbow Six or, or anything like that. I have them all in. Mum just has to walk past me. If you got any ideas in there, go right ahead. If you have anything on Steam that you want me to play, go right ahead. I'm scared of, I'm fucking scared of, like, video games. Especially the horror ones. Like, I, I'm just starting to watch Supernatural, honestly, and I'm pussy. I can't even watch that. Like, first episode, I was scared of that. And so many people would say it's not seen it's scary. The water episode, I'm so scared of that. Like, oh my god. Do you not understand how scary some of these shows are? And everyone says they're not scary, but really, they really fucking are. They're scary. Supernatural is a scary show. I know it is. I'm a pussy. I'll always be pussy. If there's a spider in my room, I'll run. I don't care. I don't care. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next...
feel. Here we go. Nine for mystery flavor? Nine is mystery. Eight would be lemon lime. Eight 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 lemon lime.